Fez was uh, a one of a kind. You know, in this day and age, everyone needs a label. What am I? I don't know. Today, I think I'm this, but tomorrow I might be that. I, I'm going to wear colored bracelets so it helps you understand who I am. Fez knew who the hell he was. He was a one of a kind, my friends. Incredibly funny. Incredibly good at radio. Uh, Ron knew how to work him perfectly. They would be doing bits that would, I don't know, I, I, I think some of their bits are still going on. I have no idea. I could never figure out Ron and Fez. Do they like each other? Do they hate each other? Is this a bit? Is this a work? Is this real? I, I loved that they uh, made you question uh, what was going on with that, uh, with that radio show. Of course they liked each other. Of course they loved each other. Fez would do these bits and it's like, Fez, how long has this bit been? been going on he's like it's been uh just under a year (laughs) but uh man he let it all out on the table when he wasn't feeling quite right in the head you know he had no problem sharing that with everybody you know he would he would shut down it all and uh to listen to that on the radio was absolutely amazing as well but uh god fez was one of a kind and knew exactly who he was. I remember the day that he um, was announcing finally that, that he was gay. I mean, we all knew it for years and who cares? And that's the beauty of our audience too, or the old audience. They didn't care either. Sometimes we, uh, we had labels put on us and a lot of those labels were just bullshit. Being labeled just shock jocks. I think Andy Cohen like tried to call us out on on something, and I and I'm like you you don't you don't know this show. I talked to him off the air. I'm like, what are you doing? Do your research. We've always been uh, very uh, very open to uh, let's just say different lifestyles. And anyway, the day that uh, Fezzi went on the radio and announced that uh, he was gay, I remember listening to the show with my wife. And we were cheering for Fezzi, cheering. And that was just another amazing uh, day of radio that uh, those guys pulled off. Oh, my God. Just so funny, so quick, so quirky. Fez and Ron, you know, they would play the heel. They would play the baby face. I I, I just did not know at times what was uh, real. But, man, you had to listen to every single minute of it, right? And we instantly uh, hit it off. Uh, those guys were just so, so easy. Me and Anthony would end our show. They were they would come in after us. And it was just so easy. I don't remember ever, especially in the early days, ever having an issue uh, with Ron or Fez. Later on, things got a little weird. But I'm here to say that uh, I loved Fez and, uh, and really, really liked him. But back, uh, especially at the NEW days and uh, early satellite radio days, my God, it was just so easy with these guys. And we would, we would just naturally work off each other and work off each other's shows and, and trade guys. Like, uh, you know, Eastside Dave would come on our show and then we would throw one of our guys on their show. And, uh, it was just a, a perfect combination of radio shows. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And, uh, you know, uh, Fez is going to be missed. He was uh, he was a kind-hearted soul. Um, really gave a shit about people. Really gave a shit about Ron and his family. And uh, it's it's just uh, just another tragedy, you know. Reach out to Ron. Uh, you know, I'm sad, uh, but Ronnie, Ronnie and Gail and the rest of them, they're de- they're absolutely devastated. Absolutely devastated because, you know, Ronnie can reflect on the radio and that probably will give him some comfort. But the fact is uh, their relationship went way past radio. I mean, you know, Ronnie simply lost a a close family member. So um, if you have the means through social media or whatever, reach out to Ron and Gail. All right. And make sure they're doing all right. Man, Ron and Fez, you know, a little jealous. Uh how well those guys got along for, uh, for, for a really, really long time. Um, there were, there were times for many years that me and Anthony, uh, were the bigger show, 
But I'm here to say that uh, Ron and Fez were the better show. Ron and Fez had an amazing, amazing run, an amazing radio show. You could tell they really got along uh, for a bulk of their time. And uh, their fan base was unbelievable. Our fan base was unbelievable. I'm not downplaying my my fan base from the old days. Of course not. But, man, their fan base was absolutely uh, really, really loyal. And uh, I don't remember in all the years I listened to Ron and Fez, and I listened to him a lot. It was one of the few shows I I, I, uh, I would search out. I don't remember. I don't remember them ever having a bad show, barely a bad segment. Because even when uh, the wheels were off, when Fezzy maybe was going through a thing or two, uh, Ron knew how to spin that shit and work that shit. Um, I bow to those guys today. They were unfucking believable. The stuff they would just talk about was just so out there and so clever and so unique. Rest in peace, uh, Fezzy. And uh, make sure you reach out to Ron. He could use it. Even if it's quick, thinking of you, a little heart, little fist, whatever. Just do something.